everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Dylan today we're gonna to be doing a Halloween tutorial actually and this one is gonna be inspired by the showgirls movie from 1995 one of the most explicit movies like ever it's rated NC-17 for a reason everything is in there but the glamour of that movie is what made me love it so much even I could watch that movie over and over again and I would never get tired of it even though it's like one of the best worst movies ever and this was actually inspired by the Firebird sequence, which is the opening of the Scottish show in the movie. There's a lot of different variations of this look, actually. There's a lot of the dancers in the movie had different variations. This is my take on the look, and I absolutely love this look. One of my favorite looks ever out of the million looks that they did in the movie. Even the simple looks were beautiful, too. I'm actually going to be doing another Showgirls makeup tutorial next week as well, inspired. Honestly, because everything has been done in terms of Halloween, like, a bunch of ideas have been done already. Everything has been done on the internet already, especially social media and YouTube. There's not a lot of people who have done showgirls inspiration looks. Like, there's some on YouTube, but not a lot. And I thought I want to do my take on it. If you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I already primed my eyes with the MAC 24 hour extend eye base, the prep and primer. And then I already set the crease of the eye and this shade from the Smashbox Blaze palette. Now for the crease and pretty much up to, all the way up to the brow bone, we are going to be taking the orange from the same palette, which is right over here. Now I'm going to be taking the red shade from the Morphe 35B palette, the red shadow, which is right over here. I kind of want to bring it um, kind of high, higher because first of all I have hooded lids and also you want, you kind of want the red to show and then we'll be blending it right after as well. Now I'm going to be taking the red from the Makeup Forever Flash palette and the red is going to be right here which is the basic, you know, primary red and we're going to be putting that cream on top of the powder as well. And then we're going to be um, setting that further. Cream shadows usually crease pretty easy on me, even though I have primer underneath because I do have oily lids. So I'm gonna set, double set it with you know the red shadow from the Morphe palette again. And then I'm going to be drawing like an angle sort that looks very bird-like since this is like a firebird look. I'm going to be taking an angled brush with the same red flash color and I'm going to be drawing these lines right over here. And now for the glitter, I'm going to be taking the NYX Glitter Primer and then I'm going to be putting the um, Bolt Glitters, uh, Super Glitters, um, Golden Eye um, glitter and I'm gonna be putting that almost like the way where you really line your eyes in that spot and honestly I don't mind the transfer on the crease sometimes because it adds something a little bit interesting to this look so now between the red uh, wings on the eyes, I'm gonna be um, taking the flash color again. I'm gonna be mixing in the red and then the yellow to make the orange, and we're gonna be putting that in between the red wings. And then I'm going to be kind of be going in the orange lines over it with the um, orange shadow from the Amorphe 35B palette and it's going to be this one right over here. I already primed and moisturized my face and then for primer I used the Fenty Beauty primer and then for foundation I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 260.
Now I'm going to be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. Now I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Then I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Blot Powder. Then I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha for contour. Then to bronze, I'm going to be taking the Bahama Mama Bronzer from the Balm. For highlight, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. For blush, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Chili Mango. For the waterline, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Swanly. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking the remaining of the red flash color. Right underneath the red, I'm going to be taking the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner. And now for the hard part, I'm going to be taking this rhinestone in this sparkle stack that I got from Walmart, the Fun World brand. And I'm going to be gluing about, I want to say four on the lower lash line with um, some eyelash glue. As you guys can see, that was not the neatest application, but honestly, this looks cool regardless. I'm going to be setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to be going in with the Uncover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Now, I know in the 90s it was all about matte face makeup, but I saw a little bit of a glow from what I saw when I saw the movie, so I'm just gonna add more glow in. Plus, I like to add glow anyway. Then I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to add some Trophy Wife into my inner corner. I'm also going to be adding the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. And I'm going to be putting it on the edge of the brow bone. And I'm also going to be kind of tracing it right over here as well. I'm going to be setting my brows with the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in the shade Bold Brunette. For lashes, I'm going to be taking the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes from Allure, my favorites. For lips, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Hawkwind. Then I'm going to be taking a lip brush and I'm going to be taking the OCC Lip Tar in the shade Electric Grandma. Then I'm going to be adding more shine with the Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. I personally really liked it. If you did, be sure to give a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social medias down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.